Hello! Today's video is going to be about Firewall D. It's an awesome firewall solution that I use on a lot of my Linux operating systems. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing three things. I'm going to be installing Firewall D, I'm going to be installing the GUI for Firewall D, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic zone in Firewall D. Okay, so first things first is that you should be, um, we don't need two firewalls. So one thing I do right away is I stop the, the UFW firewall. So that's the uncomplicated firewall. And we're going to go ahead and uh, install Firewall D. Yes. We've installed Firewall D. And now I'd like to get the, the GUI for it. All right. Clear. Do we have it? We do. And here we go. We've installed firewall. And this is the firewall config. It's the, it's the GUI sits on top of the of the firewall and allows us to manipulate it. It's it's pretty good. It does a lot of features. All the things that firewall D has, you can also do that in the conf in like the command line and in a later video I'll be doing that. Uh, but for this one I wanted to show you how to just get it quickly set up. So let's go in there. So right away we can see some things that are happening with firewall D is that we've got zones and our default one is our public. And so that's fine if you want to if you want to be working with the public one. Uh, just be aware that there's different aspects of each of these of of these zones. I personally think it's prudent to uh, make your own zone so that you can do the custom configurations as you see fit. Uh, Firewall D has got a useful feature about it that's got a runtime and a permanent. And so permanent obviously is permanent. Uh, runtime means that I can make some changes and it's not going to impact the permanent settings. So if I want to do a little, some testing, I can, I can do that in runtime. And uh, if it worked, then it's great. Add that to permanent. If it didn't, then hey, we didn't make any massive changes. But right now, I'm going to actually add some changes, some permanent changes. I'm going to add a zone. Call it test zone. Uh, the, default, the default target for this is accept when you're creating a zone. However, I don't want that. I want to drop everything and then only allow exactly what I want. So now we can see that we've added the zone and we're going to, we're going to see right away an interesting aspect of firewall D as well is that I want to make this my default zone. So let's go to options and change default zone and we go through the list, tick, 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 tick. And you know what? I don't see it. And that's, that's normal. Uh, I have added it, but it's not there. The reason for that is that I haven't reloaded the changes that I've made into Firewall. So when you make uh, make changes to Firewall D, you do need to reload those changes. So let's go back and so I went, I did a reload. Let's go in and change the default zone now. And here we go. We've got our our test zone available to us now. Hit OK and reload it again. Because if we can see, we've, we've changed it, but if I were to exit and come back in, it would still be on public. So we're going to reload it again. And we have changed to our, our new zone, which is great. In another video, we're going to show you how to add some basic network connectivity. But for now, 
we've got we've set up a zone we've changed this to our default zone right now people won't be able to go to, out to the internet we are blocking everything uh, and that's fine that's that's a proper way to do it so stay tuned I'm going to be adding a video on basic internet connectivity with firewall D uh, if you found this video uh, helpful uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, like or subscribe the video awesome thanks everybody talk to you soon bye